Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of the forecast as we head into the latter portion of the week and also again into around the weekend. We could be looking for some warmer temperatures and the possibility of maybe some thunderstorms out there as well, but we do not have anything at this time in the way of anything involving severe weather, so definitely some good news on that. Got any questions about the forecast where it pertains to the Mid-South area? Drop those questions into the comments section. We'd love to know more about where you're calling in or checking in from, I guess I should say. And then also, again, into the Mid-South area with temperatures. If you got a weather report from out there, let's see a city-state. And then also more information about what the weather's like in your particular location. Temperature, wind speed, got that weather reporting station outside the kitchen window. Let's see what's going on on with your area and if you again have anything in the way of weather pictures we'd love to know more about what it looks like around your area so we can share what that looks like. We've got a few of the weather pictures that you've shared out there in the last couple of days coming up here in just a little bit. So definitely want to stay tuned again for some more cool pictures on stuff like that. Coming up in just a little bit, got tons to talk about with the forecast. And if you have any questions about that, we'll answer those as much as we possibly can. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, again, the red bar in the bottom of your screen, that's the forecast scrolling by the seven day forecast in the lower left hand corner of your screen. And all of that available again at WRE g.com slash weather and we'll keep you updated on that throughout the course of the rest of the morning currently in the mid-south we don't have too much in the way of very tropical weather but we will be looking for the possibility of more of that activity coming up into the next couple of days more on that coming up here in just a little bit rest of the day is going to be ruled by winds out of the north not breezy but they are out of the north and that's because of that last storm system that rolled on through with winds behind that system coming in from out of the north and that's going to keep winds coming in from out of Canada that's important because that's going to drop both the humidity and the temperatures from around the Mid-South. So we will see again the possibility of some mild conditions into the area for the rest of the day today. So if you have plans for outdoors, mid-80s are where the temperatures are going to be. So things are going to be looking quite mild across much of the area through the day. And also it looks like again into tomorrow. So good news for most of the Mid-South where it comes to outdoor activities. Now, unfortunately, we are going to be getting back to those numbers that are going to be rather on the warm side, but that's going to be toward into this weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Opposite side of the state into around eastern Tennessee, a little fuzzy on the camera and a little bit of fog down into the Great Smokies from Purchase Knob around western parts of North Carolina for this morning. So not looking too bad into the area there. Thanks everybody for checking in for this morning. Uh, around the area getting some reports. Robinsonville, warm and sunny. Melissa Jones, thank you uh, very much for that. Edward Kirby, nice and warm from that location. Back into Oxford this morning around the University of Mississippi. Mid-60s at this time, calm winds, high humidity level. Again, some patchy fog around the Mid-South area, but really just not that much going on for right now. So a beautiful sunlit view there. Also from around Rhodes College in central Memphis, around the Overton Park area. Things are decently quiet for right now. Few clouds, few jet contrails drifting on through, but at least a little bit of sunshine making its way down toward campus for this morning. And from our Cotton Exchange camera, downtown Memphis again kind of hazy the pollutants in the atmosphere kind of settle down to the surface so that's why we've got kind of that hazy effect going on and that's pretty typical again for this time of the day but we're also seeing those light clouds going on through won't be totally cloudy today but it's also not going to be totally sunny either so those clouds will be sticking around in one form or fashion throughout the course of the rest of the day out there so good news on that sunny in Lyon Mississippi Mary Wright uh, thank you very much for that one. Tammy Hobson Lindsay, how's the weather for South Haven? I was just going to ask you that. If you have any weather reports from down there, please post them. Right now in South Haven, there's no rainfall in and around the area, so pretty quiet there. Carol Williams Graham, good morning, and temporary cool weather. Thankful for that. Yes, absolutely. Perfect weather in Independence, Mississippi. Stephen Crabb, thank you very much. Uh, Amy Pilcher, New Albany, Mississippi, 71 degrees and sunny. Mickey Callens just showing off a little bit. 55 degrees in Boise, Idaho. Thank you very much for that report. And so far, the winner of the so farthest away check-in for this morning. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And say hello to my friend Melissa Barr up around Boise if you run into her up there. Trumpet playing aficionado uh, in that area. Good morning, 73. 
at Spring Creek Ranch. Welcome to the show. Uh, thanks everybody for checking in there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, again, showing little, if anything, going on directly in the metro area at this time and more chances of rainfall later on. Now we've ramped up the sensitivity to see what's going on and so far again nothing showing up in the way of showers or thunderstorms across much of the area. Let's go even farther than that. We'll put the now rad situation on here and show that last storm system, the one that brought us all the severe weather, making its way up into around southeastern Canada. So there's not much left of that storm system. A few showers over Boston into around the New England area. Most of the showers offshore Anything going on in the tropics, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Vince Tetuan the third, welcome from around Kansas City, Missouri this morning. Good to see you, sir. And my friend around there is showing a nice suit. Thank you very much. Just got it back from the dry cleaner. 65 degrees in KC Mo. Uh, thanks for joining us, Vince and I, fellow Topeka West grads. Uh, thanks for stopping by for this morning. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3, again, back in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Not too shabby. Again, we could easily be back in the lower 80s for low temperatures at this time of the year. Not seeing that and looks pretty cool. Uh, quiet and decent out there. Good morning from Hernando. Donna Swackhamer B. Welcome to the show. Cool weather and sunny Kelsey Martin in Lexington. Thank you very much uh, for that. Great weather in Batesville, Mississippi. Jerry Draper. Thank you very much on that. Jacob Smith. Any rain this weekend? We'll take a look at the uh, 7 to 10 day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Now, when drier air makes its way into the area, the computer models go sometimes very nuts for the possibility of any areas of moisture making their way through the upper levels of the atmosphere. This right here is the computer saying, wow, I think there's going to be rainfall. And I look at this and I say, no, it's surrounded by dry air and more dry air on the way. So I'm not confident that we're going to be seeing anything in the way of rainfall out of this. Maybe a speckle of rain if there's enough moisture, but as it's going to be falling into very dry air. I really doubt we're going to be seeing too much of anything there. And mid-80s for high temperatures, again, for this time of the year, that's not too bad. We could easily be seeing a lot worse than that. News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures in the 60s and 70s across the Mid-South area. And here's a nice treat for tomorrow with those winds coming in from out of the north northeast some parts of the mid south tomorrow especially along and north of i-40 could easily be back in the mid 50s tomorrow which means that the kids heading out to the school bus might need themselves a jacket just to be on the safe side because we're looking for again the uh, weather to be a little bit brisk out there not exactly autumn but uh, not too bad out there for right now and looking again at some fairly cool conditions out there for right now virginia tudor great weather this morning in hernando welcome to the show there Sherry White, uh, Sherry White, welcome from Arlington, Tennessee. Thanks a lot uh, for that one. And into the rest of the forecast tomorrow, temperatures again back into the mid-80s or so. Again, just below normal for this time of the year. Starting to see some possibilities of rainfall back to our northwest by late Tuesday night, but I don't really see that being too much of a problem for us here in the Mid-South. Running the numbers on the seven-day forecast, mid-80s today. Again, typical for this time of the year for us in this area of the country at this time of the year is about the lower to mid-90s, so this will be very welcome, and it'll be sticking around into tomorrow. Temperatures back in the mid-80s once again. Now, getting into around the rest of the forecast toward the rest of the week, unfortunately, we are going to be stair-stepping our way back upwards again. Friday looks to be a little bit more toasty with numbers again going back into around the mid to upper 80s or so. And that's going to be our cue to get a very warm forecast coming our way into the rest of the weekend. That's where we also see again the possibility of maybe some showers Maybe a few thunderstorms mixed in with that, but mainly just light showers expected at this time. The chances don't look great. I mean, 10 to 20% chance. It doesn't sound like that bad. I would recommend you keeping your plans for the weekend. I would also recommend keeping an eye on the weather because, once again, if you see anything in the way of thunderstorms, lightning, seeing that, hearing the thunder, time to wrap it up and get back indoors again and make certain everybody stays safe out there. So please, again, just keep that in mind. Otherwise, temperatures remain pretty stable. We're rapidly running out of August. The last day of August, next Friday, lower 90s for highs. And again, that slight chance of a shower, maybe a thunderstorm in there. But so far, the chances of any rain in the next several days is not great. Likewise, we're not roasting. That's very good news. We have not hit the triple digits just yet. 
Hopefully that continues over the next several days, but as of right now, things are looking decently typical for this time of the year, and that's about the best way we have to describe it for right now. Jacob Smith, perfect weather is sticking around for at least a little bit anyway. It gets, again, a little toasty out there. Now, next Tuesday, upper 80s, a brief dip for a little bit, but it's still going to be uh, decently humid as that warm air makes its way back up off the Gulf of Mexico again. So expecting those tropical conditions out there. Welcome to everybody who's just tuning in for this morning into the tropics between Africa, South America, and the east coast of the United States. Things are very quiet for this morning. And so far, again, the National Hurricane Center is not showing any development in the next two to five days. After that, toward about the end of the month, there are some signs the computer models are showing the potential of maybe a ramping up in the number of storms coming our way. We are working our way toward the peak of hurricane season. That's on September 10th. So in the next about two weeks, that's where we'll see the peak of the season. And that's also where we start to see, again, the number of hurricanes really start to top off. So this is something that still needs to be watched. It's quiet right now, but later on, this is something that's going to have to be monitored very carefully out there. So please keep that in mind. Now, on the other side of the United States, into the Pacific Ocean, major storm going on here. Very interesting for this to happen at this time of the year. Usually you don't get this strong of a storm this early in the season at in this part of the world. It's just almost unheard of in some ways to see something like that happen. Lane is a strong Category 5 storm. Winds of 160 miles per hour. The Hurricane Hunter planes went through and made their way through the storm yesterday and found some deep pressure falls. They found some very strong winds going through this storm. And again, this is going to be a possible problem for the Hawaiian Islands. Now, the storm over the last few days that we saw with Hector a couple of weeks ago, that storm system made its way back to the south of the Hawaiian Islands and was not that much of a problem. But in the next couple of days, this thing is going to be coming very close to Oahu and back into around the southwestern part of the Hawaiian Islands. Now, granted, it's going to be weakening as it heads into some slightly cooler water, but it's still going to be a hurricane. So there could be some travel delays out here as we go into around Friday morning, and it looks like it's going to be side-swiping the islands, if not making a direct hit on Oahu, Kauai, in that area, hopefully avoiding the big island, that, again, could be a bit of a problem out there, again, for travelers, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and the National Hurricane Center. I will keep you advised on what we see there. Viewer pictures, thanks a lot to everybody for checking in. From this weekend, some cold air funnels, not tornadoes, but just the stir up of some a tornado look-alike, if you will, from northwestern areas of Tennessee around Dyersburg. Philip Coker, thank you very much for a nice view there. One of the first ones we picked up around Blytheville from News Channel 3 viewer Austin Bryant. Nice view of that thin rope-like wedge-shaped cloud into around the Blytheville area. A cold front moved through the Mid-South and those winds around that front as it plowed on through. It was a weak one, but it was just enough to stir up the atmosphere to create some of these funnel clouds out there. Great lightning shot as taken from a GoPro video, still shot taken there from Danny Paris around Clarksdale, Mississippi. Beautiful view out there, but again, if you're out and about in the storms, again, please use caution first out there. Don't ever risk your life for a piece of video or a shot like that. If you got pictures safely, we would love to see them, but uh, just don't risk your life on there. From after the storms, Monday night, SAVCAP 123. Beautiful view of the layers of clouds out there. Nice science joke out there for from Technical 38683, why science teachers should not be given playground duty. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Lisa Cannon Mergel, very pleasant in Kerrville. Thank you very much for that one. And Faye Bryant, welcome from Walnut, Mississippi. Becky Becky, welcome to the show as well. Louis Haskett, sunrise this morning from northeast Arkansas. Beautiful view with some jet contrails and some clouds, but outside of that, not much. If you've got pictures, we'd love to show them on our netcasts or on air, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So if you want to tweet them to me, aonic underscore WREG3, you can share them on Instagram or on Facebook or on my social media pages. 
But again, if you want to take the direct route, all you have to do is email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. I'd love to see you along there. If you didn't get a chance to watch the forecast today, you can catch up on it listening on AM 730. Bob and Josh are on the air right now with Yahoo Sports Radio, Talkback Live, Sports Chat Extraordinaire. And if you can't get their signal because you're too far away, dial them up online with information about Mid-South Sports. Tons of stuff going on with the Tigers, new schedule announced for the football season coming up, and of course, got all kinds of other things to talk about as well. And that's at talkbacklivenetwork.org if you'd like to show up with, again, more information there and listen online. I'll have more coming up later on today at about 1045 or so, depending on when we get done recording updates here in the News Channel 3 studio. So stay tuned for a lot more on my Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook pages at about a quarter till 11 or so, give or take somewhere in there. We'll take a look at weather where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones stationed around the world, we'll take a look at some of those areas around the world where American service personnel are stationed. We can't look at all of them, but we again have the opportunity to bring you a little closer to your friends and loved ones by looking at some of the weather information around the world. And we'll show you that coming up this morning right before 11 o'clock. So stay tuned for more on that one out there. Uh, let's see, is pollen out of here? Uh, Lisa Cannon Mergle, not at this time. If most of the pollen from earlier uh, the tree pollen and some of the grass pollen is dying down a bit, but we are rapidly heading into ragweed season, and that could, again, be a bit of a problem. If you'd like to get more pollen updates, you can see it on our forecast page. Just go to wreg.com slash weather, and you can get tons of information about what's going on with pollen and also, again, severe weather and temperature information. You can catch our interactive radar page, and you can sign up for Weather Call as well, where Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers will call you with severe weather information on your phone. Just sign up today and find out more again at wreg.com slash weather. Still got a lot to go through on News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning. We've got a couple more updates at 825 and 855. News Channel 3 live at 9 coming up ironically at 9 o'clock this morning and of course we'll have more on the news at News Channel 3 at noon so definitely want to stick around for a lot more out there. Questions, concerns, anything on here you'd like to see more of, more climate, more satellite data, whatever you got in mind, please drop me a line again at austin.onic at wrhe.com and it would be lovely to hear from you on that one. So looking pretty good into the Mid-South for right now. And we'll keep you up to date on the tropics as well as that continues to change over the next several days. Gesundheit back there. See, there is pollen around here. It's just it's just hanging around for right now. Live and direct from downtown. Even I'm affected. That happens. Live and direct from downtown. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for today's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the day and the week for more information on news, weather, and sports in the Mid-South.